Hey folks, NetPile here again. Today I'm going to talk about a new option for storage replica when you're using Windows Admin Center. And that's the ability to deploy new Azure VMs on the fly as you're setting up an initial sync partner for uh, asynchronous block replication. So it, you know, it's a lot of complex stuff. What I'm basically saying is rather than you provisioning your own server and building the whole thing on some other site, you can use Azure now to protect your workloads with storage replica and deploy the whole thing with the push of a button. And let's see what that looks like right now. Okay, so here I am inside of storage replica inside Windows Admin Center and I'm clicking new to add a new partnership. Now notice this new option I have here. I can choose a new Azure VM rather than simply choosing an existing server that I've already built. Now it's filled in here. Uh, this is the source of replication, right? This is storage replica. So I've gone ahead and it's automatically shown me the machine I'm connected to is storage and I've picked it. And now the Azure portion is going to fire up. So you see this uh, screen that should look very familiar to somebody who's used the Azure portal in the past, but I'm inside Windows Admin Center. So I've got a subscription and a resource group. I'm typing a VM name here, which is definitely true. And I'll pick a region. In this case, it's going to be uh, US West 2. And it's going to pick the operating system that I need to use automatically because it knows we're doing storage replica from a 2019 machine. So now I enter in some local credentials just to be able to manage this machine going forward. And uh, notice how it's checking my password complexity rules and such to make sure they match up with Azure. So I'm going to choose Next. And notice here how it's showing me only a few VMs. That's because it's trying to size it to match my source storage replica server that I had on-prem. I can do filters here. I can see all the sizes. I see fewer. You know, it's basically just trying to match up fairly close VM sizing to match where it's coming from so that if storage replica ever had to fail over, you wouldn't see you know, too much difference in scale and performance. So I click next disk. I can see it's automatically populated my storage for me, right? Storage replica needs these disks to be perfectly matching and the file systems to match. Everything has to match and it's done that for me. Then it has to join the domain. Storage replica requires domain join. So rather than making you go and take care of all this later on after provision of the VM, we can do it right here. This is something you can't do in the Azure portal. So I put in some credentials from the domain. I'm going to click Next Networking, and you can see here that I've already got my network interfaces all set up, my gateways and subnets to choose from for my VPN connection so I can do this replication. I'm using an express route here, an Azure Express route. And we check everything, click Create. And now you'll start seeing the process of a VM generating in Azure on the fly in the middle of me setting up my storage replica workload. So it's creating this, it's creating network interfaces, it's creating the VM, it's joining the domain. Let's time compress this so we don't sit around waiting for all this stuff to happen. But I never had to go and post-process this machine. I never had to install the storage replica feature. I never had to take care of any of these things that I would have done in Azure. And I would have done also if I was using an on-prem server. And I can come and go from this experience. You know, this is all running through REST APIs that we send from Admin Center into Azure. So it's entirely asynchronous, but it's all done creating the VM. And now there's my NIT is awesome uh, VM that was created. I need to give it some storage replica replication group and notice how the storage is already set up, provisioned, matched up. So all I have to do is just go. And now we're in the storage replica initial sync part. We're done messing around with Azure and we will see the initial sync start to Azure, it's done automatically asynchronous because there's no world we're going to be able to get, you know, legitimately good latency, uh, you know, across the country to some remote Azure data center. So we start asynchronously here. You can see it's all running. I'm going to time compress this while it does initial block copy of SR. And when it's all done, my on-premises workload is protected by my Azure VM and I am good to go. So that was the demo. As you can see, the experience is very similar to when you're just deploying your own uh, regular server you have done in the past. And now you just have a button to push and a few options to check. And suddenly you've got your own extra site provided by highly available, never going to go away Azure data centers. For more information, there's a URL on the screen. Good luck and have fun.